Well, I'm I'm back already. I'm back from Las Vegas. My last vlog ended with me getting there, and and here we are. I I don't have much of a vlog from my time there per se. It was just such a busy trip. I was out there for the 2019 DRL tryouts. It was a pretty crazy event. Watch DRL Tryouts. We're streaming live from the HyperX Esports Arena here at the Luxor Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Uh, even though I didn't get to film a whole lot and you know show you more of the adventure, I still wanted to make this video and talk about it because it was a really cool thing. Um, it was sponsored by SWAT. Spons sponsored by. <laughs> much of a watch wearer, but Swatch brought me and Tommy out uh, as Rotor Ride to be a part of the event. We got to give a little bit of a talk. We got to just hang out and meet people. And they took really great care of us. All right, we're checking out the, uh, the VIP area and that's uh, up here. We've got an assortment of food and there's beer back there and you know, some some peace and quiet. <clears throat> Sit down and relax a little bit and not do all the things I'm supposed to be doing while I'm here. It's pretty good. So thank you Swatch for having me out. It was a great time. And uh, the whole event, it was, it was just really cool. It was like really kind of high production. You know, we're out there in Vegas in the, the big eSports arena and there's lights and and DJs and I think like 300 people were there and I guess it was just really cool to see something around FPV drone sports produced so highly listen I'm not being paid to make this video you know they brought us out there and, and had us be part of the event but I, I don't have to do any follow-up content for for swatch but sincerely I just I just want to thank them for believing in our industry because it's FPV is still like a new thing. Um, and that's that's probably the most important thing that I wanted to talk about in this video. What I saw was everyone there feeling so hopeful about the future of FPV drone sports. Because I think it was the first time for a lot of the attendees, the first time that they saw our passion, our culture, our sport of FPV drone flying um, produced in such a way. It was clearly like expensive and produced and I think it just meant a lot to a lot of members of the community and really made them feel like we have a bright future which is something I really believe in. So seeing more things like this that help other people share that same belief that this whole sport is going somewhere and that it's, it's only gonna grow it was awesome. The other thing that was like personally significant for me, was that I actually went to this same event uh, two years. I went to this event like two years ago. They had this event in New York. I think when I went, it was their first tryouts event, and I guess I just I just wanted to see it. Um, and it, I was I was just there with my camera. I think I only had like three thousand subscribers or something at the time. Um, and what was interesting is at this event, some people from DRL like remembered I was there. They came like, wait, were you at the first one? <laughs> it was just funny because like two years ago, I just flew myself out to this event to just, just check it out and just see what was going on with one of the larger companies in FPV and like no one really knew me or anything like that. And now flash forward a little bit, I'm being brought there to be a part of this event and the event is bigger than ever it was it was just a really cool experience so again thank you DRL thank you thank you Swatch for bringing me out as a VIP and letting me you know hang out and be a part of the event I think we can have a bright future for FPV sports um, but I think it's gonna take all of us believing in it continuing to push it working together 2019 let's make it happen <laughs> I 
All right, guys, now I brought my quads and all my gear all the way to Vegas. And I actually didn't fly at all. There really wasn't time. Didn't have time to vlog, didn't have time to fly. I just lugged everything around for no reason. So I'm itching to fly, and it is a fabulous February day in Florida. Weather is perfect, t-shirts, feeling great, but I'm still trying to build up my spots list. So I've been driving around looking for some spots and I think I finally found something. What I originally came for as I was driving is I saw that building back there. I thought that might be something, but as I got closer, parking lot is full, it's gonna be a no-go. But what I didn't expect was to find this lot, which I was not paying any attention to at first. But upon closer inspection, we've got some awnings and some trees here, some trees there. Looks like there could be some pretty good flow here. Well, it's been about 24 hours since that freestyle session. Really glad I got it in and got to enjoy some of the weather because I don't know if you saw from the plane window, I'm in somewhere cold. Did you see all, did you see all that white stuff? Look at that, look at that. I thought I was gonna escape all that this whole winter, but nope, nope, nope. Um, I'm in Minnesota for a, a visit to Airviews. Should be a fun trip. Despite the cold, I plan to stay indoors as much as possible. So thank you, as always, for hanging out and uh, stay tuned for this trip. Hopefully I will do a better job of vlogging it than my last trip. So see you soon.